Everyone ready for some good times jet lag? Am I expecting an answer? I mean, I guess you can write one down in the comments, but it's going to be a little late by then. It's already a little too late considering I already wrote the script for this and I'm currently performing it. <laughs> and Snow White review! Giving them the gift of love and all the pleasures in it. The power of love is ours to share. Open up your heart. Snow White, named after her extremely pale skin tone. Which is why she seems to have a tan going on the cover and looks a bit more like a knockoff Jasmine. Snow White does in fact have a bit of a tan in parts of this movie as well, but her skin tone isn't very consistent. Well geez, if Snow White isn't pale to the point of looking sick, I don't know how I can enjoy this. Here's a bit of an oddity I noticed about this movie on the animated classics pack versus the single release. The version of this movie on the multi-pack looks blurrier and has bad tape distortion on a few areas, which does not appear at all on the single DVD. Cool, well, I'm glad this movie is a crappy version, when it's already the crappy version. This is a story about love. Pretty sure you mean looks. And how love and beauty are more powerful than wickedness and jealousy. So we're implying that love only goes hand in hand with beauty and that anyone you deem ugly is inherently wicked? Yeah, nice morals right from the beginning there, Snow White. And really, the evil queen in Snow White is still like the second hottest person in the world according to the Magic Mirror's ratings after Snow White drops her down a peg, so she's still doing pretty well for herself in the beauty department. <gasps> and they had a daughter who was the most beautiful child the world had ever seen. Oh, every parent thinks that. And they called her Snow White. Because they certainly couldn't call her Humble White. Shortly after Snow White was born, her mother, the good and noble queen, died of a mysterious illness. Well, I'm sure there was coughing involved then. Any good mysterious death illness involves a cough. <coughs> And the king soon remarried. That's right, don't forget, step parents are always evil! Another good lesson from these old fairy tales. Apparently, though, in the first version of Snow White, it was her birth mother that was the villain of the piece, but they took a step back to tone it down for children. Cause if it's a step parent trying to murder you, that's a much happier time. And over the years, Snow White's cat turned into a book. She's a witch! Burn her! Though our queen's a witch too, so I guess we're kinda four witches here. <laughs> And when the good king perished, the new queen did not shed a single tear. Look, buddy, I don't know what their marriage is like, so I'm not gonna judge. The queen had many, many mirrors, but by far her favorite was a magic mirror. Well, I suppose that'd give it a bit of an edge on the other mirrors. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her true. That's not right. The first time I watched this, she said, Magic mirror, tell me do do. Who's the loveliest of all? The answer queen is Christ. <laughs> oh, I knew I should never have installed Magic Mirror M.E. You are most lovely far and near. Well, at least she's having a good time. One fateful day, the queen received an answer of a different sort. The loveliest is Fair Snow White. Oh, I hate that mayor! So the mayor waited until Snow White was older so it wouldn't seem super creepy that it thinks she's hot. Though, if this is like the Disney version, Snow White is only like 14 at this point. So, yeah, the mirror's still a pedo. Treacherous mirror! How dare you say Snow White is lovelier than I! Maybe change your hairstyle from that beehive buffoon. Aunt Dingy and I'll rethink my ratings. Send me my royal huntsman! How's the mirror supposed to send for someone? If for some reason you should fail, then tonight I shall be dining upon head of huntsman. So the queen's a cannibal? 
Well, in some earlier versions, she at least tried to be as she ate what she believed to be Snow White's lungs and liver brought back by the Huntsman. You know, I don't think this crazy queen is quite on the level. I threw it on the ground! <laughs> it's hard to be that mad at the queen. She's so jovial. <gasps> Demon bunnies! It's Night of the Leapers too. Have you ever seen such a lovely sunshiny day, Huntsman? Oh, Huntsman, don't be so glum. I've been working for you for six years and you still don't know my name? Huntsman, what are you doing? I... I cannot do it. Run for your life! My life? What are you talking about? The queen! She has ordered me to slay you! Slay me? Your stepmother will do anything to see you dead! She wishes me dead? You can tell the urgency of the situation by how Snow White doesn't move and just keeps repeating everything old Huntsman says as a question. I cannot believe this. Believe it. I shall never forget you, Huntsman. But I shall never remember your actual name. Next thing we see is some kind of creature trees? Well, I guess those are going to be real exciting later. Never seen again. This sequence was probably inspired by that obscure 1937 version of the story. <gasps> whoa, whoa there. Wait a minute, miss. I'm the Huntsman. That forest sent you back in time. Let me go. Who are you? After her, I must know who she is. Never have these eyes gazed upon such beauty. Vanity, bad. Shallowness, good. Got it. Sire, she has disappeared from sight. Perhaps she was a witch or a gnome. Yeah, a gnome. That's gotta be it. Got a gnome fast. Man, this guy's just gotta be struggling for excuses for why they lost her in two seconds. Maybe they're just in horrible shape. No one with a face like hers could be a witch or a gnome. I shall find that girl no matter how long it takes. She will become my princess. You know it's bad when even the gnome seekers think you're being ridiculous. But I do see how they lost Snow White in her long dress. I mean, look at her supersonic speed. Snow White had never seen a place like this. What, with it being all building shaped completely outlandish? Hello? Can anyone hear me? I said, is there anybody here? Oh, what delicious looking food. Well, it seems it's you were expected. Eat up! Oh, surely they won't mind if I take a little something. What'd the dwarves do? Cook their food, then leave? Oh my, what sweet little chairs. What a cute little table. This must be a house for children. Well, Snow White certainly doesn't have a beautiful mind. A bunch of kids living alone in the woods. Yeah, that makes the most sense. Oh, seven of them. There used to be eight dwarves, but the queen ate old Cookie. Tan White then does take a page out of the old man playbook and chows down, then finds a bed that's just right, and then sleeps on three of them. Snow White and the Three Bears is truly the superior Snow White tale. Ha! I'm a offended bear. This is my brother bear new heart. My other brother bear new heart. You have invaded our personal space. Oh, sorry. I thought this was just a kid house, not a bear house. I'll be leaving. I am afraid it's too late for that. <laughs> Just kidding. This is nothing like Goldilocks. Hey, somebody's been sitting in my chair and using my spoon and eating my soup and sleeping in my bed. So all the dwarves are just the same character model, but with different colored clothing, because that's easier to animate. Didn't anyone tell you that it's rude to wake someone up by yelling? Much like no one told you that it's rude to break into someone's house, eat their food, and then crash? Snow White. 
White Sunbeam. Maximize! My name is Tadpole, and you are still sitting on my bed! But I knocked and knocked, and nobody answered, and the door was open, so I came inside, and I guess I just fell asleep. Man, I don't believe this! Believe it. Have you ever heard of a thing called trespassing? Tadpole is the grumpy one. Kinda like grumpy. Good one. Why are you running from the queen? She wishes me dead. Jumping gyros. But why? Why would anyone wish someone as lovely as you dead? I mean, if you were ugly, I'd get it. Then your life would have no value. Jump, guys. Jazz hands time. The dwarves immediately jump to let's kill the queen before realizing that the seven of them taking on a kingdom might be a bit much. Hey, Wait a second. If anything should happen to me, wish me back with the Dragon Balls. And here's your lunch, Cricket. Back to Magnet Hedgehog! Right. Give her a chance, Robin. Robin, my god! Curse that miserable huntsman! I'll simply have to take care of this little matter myself. <laughs> it wasn't that funny. Naturally, Snow White saw that purple lightning entrance since it was just a little bit in front of her and immediately knew it was the queen and her scheme was ruined. Oh, that's who it is! So instead of just simpling down the queen's schemes to just the poison apple like Disney did, the Good Times one has her pull a few stunts like in the original tale. Here, let me show you how beautiful they will look on your dress. All right, then. It's getting a little difficult to breathe. That's the whole idea, dearie! Well, she was strangled for two seconds. She must be dead, right? High blow, high blow, it's out to rip off we go! Snow White! Well, that's just prime. Is she? Is she? Oh, I thought Snow White would be dead this time. Snow White, didn't I warn you to beware of strangers? But she was just a sweet, harmless old woman. Do you call this harmless? Why would it have been made of snakes? That didn't aid her strangle her plan at all. If those snakes were venomous, that could have been a plan, but nah. Well, anyway, you're safe now. Big bot. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her truth. Okay, Queenie, I know where you're going with this. You can just straight up ask me if you're the tops of my hottest people charts. I don't need the poem every time. Don't compare with fair Snow White. That mirror is kind of an accomplice at this point, isn't it? Look who's still alive! Guess you gotta try and kill her again! Guess everything isn't so funny now. <laughs> hip hip hooray, another working day! Hip hip hooray, singing all the way! Work hard, we play hard. So they're smelting these rocks. Is this gold they're mining? What do they need that for? Do the dwarves actually go into town and buy stuff? And if that's the case, you think they'd be living it up a bit better with their cave full of gold? Marching in a line singing? I don't know where they get their inspiration. But what if she tries to kill Snow White again? If she does, I would. <laughs> Although she was a trusting soul, she promised herself she would not be fooled again. Cause fool, kicky fool the game. No one could see through this disguise. Queen Wars! Old peddlers in disguise. How much harm could an old man like you do? More than you'd suspect, dearie, more than you'd suspect. She's even telegraphing this for you and you're still gonna fall for it, Snow White? Here, to show you how it works. What you say, oh, that you only meant well. 
I'm torn between questioning how a comb KO'd her or just saying that Snow White's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. At least I tried. The poison that I placed on the teeth seems to be working quite well enough indeed. That's some real fast-acting hair poison. To what do I owe such a visit? I am on a quest. A quest for true love. It's gotta be true love because I met her for a couple of seconds and instead of staying to talk to me, she ran off screaming into the woods. I have heard tales of a beautiful princess who lives in this kingdom. I assure you, the reports of her beauty are greatly exaggerated. <laughs> Alright, that was pretty funny. She has disappeared completely. She must have perished, eaten by some beast. Oh man, I'm not taking the fall for this one. To lose a child, you, you must be heartbroken. I am inconsolable. I know how you feel, for I too have lost the one person in my life that I truly love. Dude, you popped a boner over a girl you saw once. If the queen was actually being genuine here, this would not be the same thing. I shall search for the rest of my life if need be. What shall you do if you fail to find her? Or if, when you do, she is dead? Then I shall die as well. Surely you cannot be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Wow! Again? Is this girl even worth trying to save? What's this? That was an even worse murder attempt than the first one! All you seriously have to do is move the comb away and the victim immediately wakes up? Celebrate it up, dwarves! It'll be a short-lived victory with snow, I love poison white! What happened? That's what we were wondering. <laughs> I gave an old man a drink of water. That was no old man! I mean, come on! That was the evil queen! But he seemed so kind and so... old. Old people can't be evil just like beautiful people can't. Isn't your stepmother the second hottest person? <sighs> Take a look at this! Oops, grab the poison! <laughs> Remember what I told you, Snow White. Goes in one ear and out the other. I will remember. I don't want to be any more trouble to you. Trouble? With a capital B. Who's the loveliest of all? Snow White's the fairest to be seen. Does this mirror have no conscience? What? I'll eat her! I love eating paper! Oh no, my hand is melting into a giant flesh glob! This time, Snow White shall die! <laughs> oh, that'd make too much sense. Care to buy some apples, miss? No, thank you. <laughs> oh, but miss, if I don't sell some apples, my father is going to punish me! Well, the last two times oddly insistent peddlers showed up, it was to poison me, so third time's the charm! This really is quite repetitive at this point, so I think it was for the best that Disney just cut it down to the one poisoning. <laughs> Queenie, it's probably best not to remind the audience that you had far more effective ways of killing Snow White than your stupid poison apples. Come on, I'll split one with you. Mm. Tastes like stupidity. Ah, jeez, how long were we really going to be able to keep her alive anyway? And good riddance. Who's the loveliest of all? You are most lovely far and near. Well, Snow White's just kind of in suspended animation, right? Wouldn't she still make the mirror's top hottest people in the world's charts? Unless she was... You know, actually dead? Snow White's goodness and kindness had so affected the dwarves that they could not bring themselves to bury her, so they stood watching over her. So they wanted to watch her rot? Because they don't know that she's not going to. But, you know, it's really sweet that they wanted to stare at a dead person because they thought she was attractive. Prince Boner shows up to remind us how much he loved this woman he didn't know and wants to find a way to revive her. Well, I'm sure that's going to take a lot of work. <laughs> the apple piece just had to fall out of her mouth and then she's A-OK. -okay. Really, Queenie? Really? 
That's even lamer than a poison whose antidote is a kiss by a person who's really into necrophilia. Why didn't the queen try, oh, I don't know, real poison? Where am I? In the arms of the man who would be your husband, my love. Uh, well, the thing about that is, uh, who are you? The prince and Snow White were to be married. And it ended in a very messy divorce, like most impulse marriages. I do hope that the bride will not be too put out when I make my entrance at the wedding ball. Why'd they invite her? I know you tried to kill me, but you didn't succeed, so wanna come to my wedding? The queen finds out once again that she's the worst murderer of them all and goes to kill the magic mirror. What? What manner of sorcery is this? It's a magic mirror. You're passing through a magic door where you will behold yourself no more. So really, the mirror only has a major problem with the queen being murderous when it comes to her trying to kill it. If you're gonna throw in that the mirror can stop her, it could have done so at any time. Stupid mirror. Might have been better to just fall off a cliff, though being sucked into the mirror universe was still probably preferable to what happened in the original tale, where the queen does go to the wedding and then the prince forces her to wear burning hot iron shoes and dance until she's dead so that they can just go on with the wedding. Wow, the prince is a monster. I'm sure he and Snow White will have a great marriage. And if he ever gets tired of her, all he has to do is say, Hey, drink this poison! Now, Mandela Mirror on the wall, who's the stupidest reviewer of them all? Are you sure you want me to answer that? Oh, shut up. I don't like this movie that has a little too friendly. This movie is so fake. That toy is gonna break. Fate has not let me down. You need to Come on, I'll split one with you. Oh, a delicious apple! <laughs>